Take notes as you watch this video and test your knowledge by taking the quiz at the end. This video is sponsored in part by Blue Ring Education, the makers of Next Generation Science, Metholia and Kids Health Net. Soil is a very important part of our planet. It forms the top layer of the Earth's surface. Soil can be different in different places, but it generally has three main components. Small rock particles, water, and spaces that can be filled with air. Some soils also contain humus, which is the remains of dead plants, animals, and other living things. This addition makes the soil richer and more beneficial for plant growth. Different soils have varying amounts of each of these components, but we'll get into that later. Soil is incredibly important to plants because it is their primary source of water, minerals and nutrients which they need to grow. This rich environment doesn't just support plants. It's also home to other living things, including small animals, fungi and microorganisms. There are four main types of soil each with their own special qualities, mostly because of the size of the rock particles that make them up, which affects the amount of water they can hold and the size of the air spaces. They can also differ in the amount of humus they contain. One type of soil is sandy soil or sand. Sandy soil has big particles, like the sand you find at the beach. These big particles mean that sandy soil can't hold onto water very well because the water just drains right through. This is why sandy soil is often dry. But the big spaces between the particles do allow a lot of air to move through. Sandy soil does not contain much humus. Another type is clay soil. Clay soil has very small particles. These tiny particles pack closely together. This makes it good at holding water, but it doesn't let air through easily. Because of this, clay soil can be hard for plant roots to move through. Like sand, clay does not contain much humus. Then there is silt, which has qualities that sit between those of sandy and clay soils. Silt particles are finer than sand, but bigger than clay, making silt soil smooth to the touch. This medium-sized particle composition allows silt soil to hold more water than sandy soil. Silt also has some humus, usually more than sand or clay, which provides minerals and nutrients to plants. The last type of soil we will look at is loamy soil. It's made of a mix of sand, silt, and also some clay particles. This gives it the best qualities for growing plants. It holds moisture, but also drains well, so it's not too wet or too dry. Loamy soil often contains lots of humus, which helps the soil hold onto nutrients and moisture, and it makes the soil very good for growing plants. So there you have it, the four main types of soil. Sandy soil, clay soil, silt, and loamy soil. Now that you know a bit more about them, why not go outside and take a closer look at the soil around you? Pay attention to its characteristics. Is it gritty and quick to dry like sandy soil? Or does it hold water and shape easily, like clay soil? Or maybe it's rich and crumbly and full of life, like loamy soil. Thanks for learning. Let's see what you've learned by taking a quick soil quiz.
Don't forget to subscribe.